Hey guys, David Budlizer here with Budlizer.com, and I'm going to be helping you uh, show you guys a really cool structured way to do your game design documents in Google Docs. Um, I prefer Google Docs over Word and Dropbox. Now that I've gotten used to it, I think the features are a lot cleaner, nicer, easier to use. Um, I like the formatting. And most importantly, I can work simultaneously with my team and, and they can comment on stuff and we don't have to break, it doesn't break any of the files like you do in Dropbox. You don't have to worry about subversions or anything like that being created. So let's just talk really quick about terminology before we get started. The reason I wanted to make this video is a lot of people in the, I've, I've noticed in the indie scene are talking about their game design document and they really, either they don't have one or they don't have a good one. Some of them are just much too short, much too ambiguous to be a real game design document. And they're holding on to it like it's super important. And then you find out, you know, if you want to work with them or something, all they've got is like three pages written down. And really, to me, that's not a game design document, that, unless you're making something super simple. Uh, I've heard of some people writing their game design document on napkins, and I just think that that's the exception to the rule and not the norm. If what you have is less than four pages, what you probably have is, is kind of a general concept or even a pitch document. A pitch document is something that you show to other team members, other investors, or even, even maybe like a media type of outlet type thing to get people interested in your game. So you might work on a pitch document to try and raise funds or to, or to get people to work a, as team members to try and gain resources before you get to your game design document. The other terminology I want to go over is the technical design document. The game design document and the technical design document, they do overlap a lot. But any time that you're working with programmers and they say they don't like your game design document and they want you to fix it, what they really mean is they want a technical design document. A technical design document does not have any of the ambiguity, the flavor, the story, or the extra fluff that goes into a game design document. It's very specific so that when a programmer starts to work, he knows you know, this piece goes here, this object is 36 by 36. It, there's nothing ambiguous. You don't use words like small, medium, large. You want to be as specific as possible in your technical design document. All right. So, for more information about this terminology, you can come to my website and click on Game Dev Dictionary or Game Dev Glossary, and it'll go over a lot of the keywords that are used in the industry and give it a real simple definition. Uh, even if you've been working, I've worked with people who have been in the industry for a couple years now and we're kind of throwing around these words in a, in a completely different fashion. So you want to at least have a glossary that's kind of common place for you guys. So if you guys are working on your own project, you might want to use this as your own or at least make everyone read this so that you, you kind of get the right terminology being thrown around. And the other thing on my website that's really cool for you guys are their game assets. Ooh, oops, I haven't loaded it yet. Uh, game assets here. This is some links to some places where you can get some really cheap stuff, find good artists, find developers who are looking for projects as well, and even some tutorials, all right, as well as this, and we'll get back to this in a second. So I'm going to dive straight in, and we're going to start working on our game design document. If you are thinking about building a website, I can recommend DreamHost. I've used them for over five years. They're excellent. Uh, for my domains, I use GoDaddy. It's very, you know, they're really big and it's really simple. Uh, they have a really good front end user system for keeping track of all your domains. So I do have referral links. If you decide to use those companies, use my referral links. Thank you. It helps me out a lot. All right, so let's get started.